All right, guys, so let's go ahead and answer the first question from the 2006 AP Calculus ABFRQ. And the problem says, let R be the shaded region bounded by the graph of y equals ln of x and the line of y equals x minus 2. So the first thing that we can do is plug these into our calculator. So we have ln of x and x minus 2 and graph this just to get a visual and let's just do a quick sketch this is our x-axis All right, so this is R, this is R, R. And for part A, it is asking us to find the area of R. And to find the area, it's just going to be the integral from A through B of our top function minus our bottom function, a dx. And we can go ahead and to find A and B, we have to find our points of intersection here and here of our functions. So to do that, we're just going to equate the two. So we have ln of x, let's do it right here, and that equals x minus 2. And to do this, we're just going to use our calculator, and we can do y sub 1, which is our ln of x, and then subtract our y sub 2, our y sub 2, and then we can see that it's around 1, so let's just go ahead and guess around 1. And you can see here that our first point of intersection is 3.1462. And then our second point of intersection is roughly... Right, so for the second point of intersection, we can see that it is less than 3.1462. So let's just put in the value of 0. And here we have our second point of intersection. 0 0.1586. And now we have our A and our B. So we can go ahead and plug those in. 1586, 3.1462, and our top function, which is represented by ln of x, minus our bottom function, which is x minus 2, dx. Use our calculator. Now, math 9 from our lower limit, 0.1586, upper limit, 3.1462 of y1 minus y sub 2, and it's with respect to x. Let that load up, and now we have 1.949 units squared, since this is our area of R. Let's go ahead and answer part B of the problem. Now, part B says find the volume of the solid, solid generated when R is rotated about the horizontal line y equals negative 3. And once again, we could just sketch the graph to visualize this. So we have our x, our y, and Here, this is R, and we're going to have to rotate it about here, y equals negative 3. And since it's a horizontal line, it's still going to be in terms of x. So we, it's just going to be the top minus bottom. And as you can see here, there's this space, so there, this is going to be, uh, we're going to have to use the washer method. And the washer method's volume is represented by pi times 
times a through b of our outer radius minus our inner radius, both of them squared, dx. And we can go ahead and plug in our values. So we have our constant and then our a, which is our first point of intersection, b, and then here our outer radius is represented by our top function minus our horizontal line of y equals negative 3. So it's going to be ln of x minus a negative 3. So we can just simplify that to plus 3 and that's squared. And then subtract our inner radius which is this function of y equals x minus 2 minus our negative 3 and once again we're going to change that to plus 3. So x minus 2 plus 3. This is squared as well. dx. And when we plug this into our calculator, we're going to get the answer. Lower limit, 0.1586. Upper limit, 1462. And then for this, we're going to do ln of x plus 3 squared minus x minus 2 plus 3 squared and it is with respects to x. Go ahead and let that load up and here we have our value but we can't forget about our constant of pi so we're going to multiply the answer by pi and this is the volume 34.199 units cubed alright cool so let's go ahead and move on to part C and what part C is saying is write but do not evaluate an, inter an integral expression that can be used to find the volume of the solid generated when r is rotated about the y-axis. So now we're going to have to change our functions in terms of y instead of in terms of x. Um, and for this, let's just go ahead and write down what we're looking for. Volume rotated about the y-axis. Uh, the first thing that we're going to have to do is adjust our limits since it is in terms of y now. So new limits. Now our former values of a and b are 0 0.15 one five eight six and three point one four six two and now we can just go ahead and use one of the functions that are given in the problem but I'm going to use the simpler one y equals x minus two and then just plug in our values of x's and then we're going to get our values of y which are our new limits so the new a is going to be negative 1.8414 and then whenever you plug in B we're going to get 1.1462 so now we can go ahead and move on to changing our functions in terms of Y we have Y equals natural logarithm of X and y equals x minus 2. This one's going to be simple. It's just going to, you add 2 on both sides, x equals y plus 2. And here, x is going to just be e to the y. So now we have our functions. And we can go ahead and set up our integrant, or integrant to solve for this volume. 
So the volume is going to be constant of pi. And then our new limits, negative 1.8414, 1.1462 and our outer radius is going to be our rightmost function which is the x minus 2 but now it's in terms of y so it's the y plus 2 so it's y plus 2 squared since that's our outer radius and we subtract our inner radius which is represented now by x equals e to the y so we write e to the y. This is squared as well. And now it's in terms of y. So this is our integral expression that will find the volume of the solid generated when r is rotated about the y axis. And we have fully answered the first question from the 2006 AP Calculus FRQ.